Hey everyone, Lauren Simons here, and in this video, I want to walk you through working with the EOS C700 and the Codex CDX36150 recorder. The Codex36150 is a unique recorder in that there are literally no buttons or displays on the recorder itself. The reason for this is because all of the settings for the recorder are actually set in the camera's menu. No more confirming that camera and recorder settings are matched, no more separate power solutions. This is truly just an expansion of the camera in both design and function. So let's jump right in. If you're prepping with the 36150, then you're most likely shooting raw or you're taking advantage of the higher speeds of ProRes possible with the recorder. But if the production is investing in the codec system, then you're probably going to be taking full advantage of the C700's raw power. When shooting raw to the codecs, you get roughly 50 minutes per one terabyte drive when capturing in 4K RAW 2398. You can also shoot 4.5K and a 2K crop high speed RAW to the recorder. And of course, recording times will vary depending on bit depth, frame rate, resolutions, and media. So let's jump into the menu and configure the system. First, we'll head into the main menu and head to Rec Media Setup. Here, we will change out the main rec format to raw CDX capture drive. Once that's selected, everything else will behave almost identical as if you were shooting to see fast in the camera, including shooting off speed. If you want to learn more about the high speed and off speed settings, be sure to watch the shooting in slow and fast motion video in this series. The next thing I recommend doing is setting up a sub recording. Because the raw footage requires a powerful rig to process, I recommend having lower bitrate files to view quickly either for clients or dailies. So moving to sub recording, I can choose between shooting a highly compressed 8-bit 2K or HD file to the SD card, or even still recording up to 4K 10-bit files internally to the CFast card. Now, when you're shooting RAW, there are a few things to take note of. First, is that the ISO setting is set at the analog stage of the sensor. So that information is baked into the RAW and cannot be changed like some other RAW systems. So think of changing your ISO like choosing your film stock. This analog amplification helps us maintain the same dynamic range distribution above 800 ISO, as well as creates a very unique and remarkably clean noise structure at higher ISOs. The white balance, however, is metadata based and easily modifiable while deburring the footage in post using our Cinema RAW development software. Another part of the camera system to keep in mind when shooting RAW are the video outputs. The quad link SDI terminals will all become raw video feeds, so these terminals can only be monitored if using a device that can debayer our raw signal, such as our 4K reference displays, the DPV-1710, DPV-2410, or the DPV-2420. When shooting 1 through 30 frames, each of the four terminals are their own independent 4K raw signals. When shooting 31 through 60 frames, SDI 1 and 2 are linked as dual link, as are SDI 3 and 4. And then when shooting 61 and above, all four SDI signals are linked as a single raw signal. As a note, when shooting 4K raw, the HDMI signal will only output HD or 2K, not 4K. Utilizing the power of the EOS C700 and Codex CDX36150, filmmakers can now have the most robust amount of data possible to fulfill their creative vision while maintaining a streamlined production experience. If you have any questions, be sure to call us at 1855 Cineos.